Welcome back. Today's adventure takes us from Grindelwald up and over to Lauterbrunnen. And just look at this magical place. Previously, we explored the beautiful sites of Interlaken and the Lake Breens area. I can't linger too long because there's a queue. <laughs> Now it's time to finally begin our 150 km journey through the Swiss Alps with the main goal of reaching the Matterhorn, the most beautiful peak in all of Switzerland. There she is. We're so close now. Later in this series, I'll also be sharing all of the highlights from not just the hiking, but all of the villages and adventures that we experience along the way. So subscribe and come along for this next level adventure as we enjoy a summer in Switzerland together. Good morning, and it's cold. It's the beginning of our hike from Grindelwald to Zermatt. 150 kilometers in total, and it should take us about mm, two weeks if we can take it easy, take it slow. However, it's not a very good start for two reasons. And uh, the first one, as you can see, is the weather. It's been glorious for three or four days in a row. And typical, the day that I begin the hike, I wake up this morning, look out of the hostel room, and normally where it's been blue skies and gorgeous views of the mountains, it's just full of clouds and there's forecast for rain and snow. And you know, this is the beginning of June. And the second thing is, as you can hear, I'm sick. <coughs> oh, oh. A little bit of a fever last night, kept waking up, sweating, and uh, yeah, just, just a typical man flu. So bad weather, under the weather, all together, it's not the best start. But you know what? We're gonna attack it anyway. I have kind of cheated a little bit, let me explain. Originally, I was gonna walk up and over and down to Wengen from Grindelwald, but with the weather and with my emotional and physical being, I just decided, you know what? Let's get on the mountain train Let's go up a couple of stations to Klenschnega. Um, probably said that wrong, but it's still going to be eight or nine kilometers. It's still going to be three hours, but it's mostly flat and then down into Wengen. There was no need to do a ridiculously steep hike today because I'm sick and there would be no views. The footage wouldn't be worth it. And I would have gotten up to here um, probably dead. <laughs> So yeah, instead of starting down in Grindelwald, we've now come up a little bit and we're gonna continue and begin our hike sick and in the bad weather. So things can only get better from here. Fingers crossed. First thing I've got to do <coughs> is get a, get a few more layers on because this train station's at 2,000 meters. It's four degrees. And uh, when the wind picks up, it's very cold. This is the mountains for you. This is the unpredictable nature of nature and the Alps in general. Okay, let's go. One thing that absolutely blows my mind traveling around not just Switzerland, but Europe in general, is just how great people are at speaking other languages. One of the reasons for that is the amount of TV, movies, music, even YouTube, people are consuming with native subtitles. Watching enjoyable and interesting content is the best way to learn a new language. Now everybody's different and there are many ways to learn languages and many brands out there, but in essence, they all make you sit down and attend classes and click on flashcard after flashcard and it can be a little bit repetitive. Today's sponsor, however, makes learning a language fun and easy. 
LingoPie provides access to high quality TV shows and movies produced locally. So LingoPie lets you sit down, relax, watch professional, amazing TV shows and movies in that language, in that native language that you want to learn. And you can sit down and engage with it and learn it at your own pace. LingoPie has loads of features and you can check them out on their website, but the best ones for me is that you can layer the subtitles. So for example, you can have the English on top and then the language that you're learning underneath. This is an absolute game changer, especially if you're a visual learner like me. Other awesome features include the ability to slow down the speed of your video. If for example, they're just speaking way too fast. <laughs> There's also on-screen transcriptions to the side that show you the full dialogue in script format. And what's really cool, if there's a word that you really don't know or you, that you want to learn because you keep seeing it over and over again, you just click on it and it gives you the translation. You can add it to your word bank and come back to it later. And you can practice your pronunciation. They're giving you a free seven day trial so you can check it out and try it completely for free for an entire week. And if you enjoy it and you want to continue, well, if you use the link in my description, you'll get 55% off their package. So thank you to LingoPie for sponsoring this section of the video. Enjoy your learning language experience over there and let's get back on the trail. I have to say that it feels it feels so good to be finally on the first day's hike. It's been a long time coming, this trip. If you don't know, I planned to go to the Himalayas. I was going to do Everest Base Camp. But in the end, I decided not to go. There was some new rules and you needed a guide. And I wanted to be alone. I wanted to have time to myself. And I didn't want to hold anybody else up and be in a group, you know. Filming a, a hike with the pressure of having a guide and other people around you would just mean that the video would suffer and I decided that I didn't want to do it. And then I started researching and I thought, let's go to Switzerland. You know, the hiking here is supposed to be some of the best in the world. You can do it alone. And you know, today, even though it would have been nice to start down in Grindelwald, maybe it's for the best. And being in Switzerland, it's so easy just to nip on a train and come up the side of the mountain and start the trail <clears throat> a little bit further along. Um, but I gotta say that this was the moment that I told my girlfriend that I was really looking forward to the most, which was the day that I actually begin the hike and the feeling of being out here and for it being real. Like this hike, this hike to Zermatt is gonna be difficult, it's gonna be long and there'll be lots of ups and downs. And we're kind of starting on a down, sadly, but it still feels like a win to me, so. It also feels really nice to get away from the tourists because I gotta tell you, like I started in Interlaken. It was just full of coach loads of tourists and big group tours from India, China, and lots of tourists from all over the world. And then we had a bit of a break when I kind of stayed in a family guest house away from everywhere. That was really nice. But then coming into Grindelwald and going up to Jungfrau, the, the, the highest train station in the world, which is just between those clouds you can see up at 4,000 meters yesterday. Um, you know, the footage was amazing, but you know, the Swiss Alps is popular for a reason and it brings tours and it brings travelers and tourists in droves. Absolutely couldn't believe it. I was one thing that was blown away was just how touristy Interlaken and Grindelwald was. So now that we're walking into town to town to town, we should be passing through some popular places, don't get me wrong, but there should be quite a lot of distance away from these tour groups. They don't really do hiking, they just kind of go on the train and they, get, they take a picture and then they do the thing and then they go back and eat John cheese fondue. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, that's a great holiday. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to just being on my, on my Todd, as we say in the UK.
Okay, so I've taken a few layers off because actually one of the things they say when you're hiking, I'm not a hiking expert obviously, but they say start hiking cold because if you're feeling a bit brisk, that's good because as you start walking, you'll get hot and you don't want to have to stop like I've just done and take everything off and pack everything away. Um, but so far, one thing I need to say is that I'm really happy that I decided to go with a 40 litre backpack I was in two minds to get a bigger one. I thought, I don't want to pack too much stuff and uh, keep it light. One thing you need to know is that I'm packing my filming equipment and my editing equipment. I have my laptop, laptop charger, SD cards, SD card reader, phone, phone charger, tripod, Sony, Sony charger, Sony mic. <coughs> Drone, drone controller, bag for the drone, spare batteries, all the things that way that most hikers don't need to bring, I have to bring because in the evenings I edit these videos and create them so that I can upload every three days with this series. So, yeah, I'm just happy that the bag, and this is probably too early to say because we're only an hour and in, into the hike but it feels light it doesn't feel heavy which is great the good thing about the mountains is it can be like this at a certain altitude clear much higher and clear much lower so we're kind of in this band this 2000 meter band where clouds tend to come in and then the peaks, the 4,000 meter peaks, they're above it all. And then down in the valleys, you're below it all. So staying optimistic. And uh, it's quite nice to see all these beautiful flowers just sprouting up through the grass now that the snow is mostly gone and they're getting the sun on a nice sunny day like yesterday. They're starting to come out through the grass and they're giving a slight whiff of that spring summer joy. <laughs> All right, it looks like we've reached the tree line. And uh, at least we have something to look at now and smell that beautiful pine tree smell. <sighs> Good stuff. Beautiful.
another good thing about leaving behind Grindelwald and the Yangfrau mountain area is there's so many activities and things to spend your money on. And, uh, you know, the Switzerland Alps are not the cheapest place. In fact, you can track all my spending in the description. I have a link to my spreadsheet. Every day I break down what I spend on food, transport and activities and everything combined. So you can see in budget accordingly. And, you know, from this point on, the activities is going to be quite quite low you know yesterday i went up to yang frau Joch, the highest train station 200 francs so you know nearly 200 dollars just to go to a train station that was an expensive day out whereas activities going forward very much are just going to be hiking and the odd uh lunch and breakfast and hotel and you know maybe we'll see and do some more activities along the way i really don't know but hiking's free so Here we are at the top of one of the ski slopes in the winter season. Looks like you would slalom down here, go down, ski to Wengen, come back up. So we've got about half an hour to go. We've been going about two hours, so that makes about sense. It's quite eerie, actually, and it's all deserted. Anyway, Avanti. Hiya, you all right? They've actually got bells, cow bells. I think that's so that they don't get lost. Uh, all the farmers can find them in the snow or in bad weather. Speaking of bad weather, it's just started raining. Let's get our jacket on. Okay, there's the town of Wengen. That's where our hotel is. Let's make our way down. Okay, bang in the middle of town is my hotel. It's called the Alpine Hotel. Let's see if they let me check in a little bit early and warm up. Because right now I'm cold and wet. Okay, so I wasn't able to check in, uh, but that's okay because they said that I could use the spa. That This place has a, a, a hot, huge room, like a swimming pool, right? But it's boiling hot in there, like 35 degrees. They got the heating right up. The water was hot. They had a steam room. They had a, a sauna. And I just I had like an hour and a half nap in the warmest, most comfy swimming pool area. They had a little bit of music playing and it was just perfect. Now I've checked in and um, the room's really nice. It's a little one bedroom jobby and um, nice little balcony with the views of the village. And I don't know if you can see, but the kids are playing something out here. I have no idea what it is. I thought it was mini golf, but they're using like a hockey. It looks like ice hockey or something. I don't know. I'm hoping that 
the weather clears because apparently from just around the corner here, this is the most incredible view. So I'm hoping in a couple of hours before sunset, it clears enough for us to appreciate this village. My friend Carl Watson, he made a fantastic one hour documentary about his whole travels around the Swiss Alps um, in the same region as this. And he gave me loads of advice. And one of the things he told me to do was to come to this uh, beautiful little church here in Wengen. He said, um, it's got the best view down into this valley here, the Lauterbrunnen Valley here. So this is like a super famous valley. There's like a waterfall spewing out of the side of the the mountain and it's a huge valley. Apparently it's just incredible and this is like the best view. And he came here in his video and I was so excited to sort of share a picture or a video with him to say, hey, I made it. And as you can see behind me, even though it's still crazy beautiful, it's not the same, is it? But tomorrow we go down into that valley and we walk all the way through to the town called Murin and Grimmelwald. So we'll, we've got a, We've got a beautiful scenic day tomorrow. Fingers crossed it gets a little bit better because as epic as this mistiness is, it's just hiding one of the very rarest, most beautiful, dramatic, scenic views that the Swiss Alps has to offer. I'll come back in a couple of hours and we'll see if it's cleared up. We'll come early in the morning and then we're gonna walk through that. That's exciting. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did and you want to watch the next one, then just click right here. And if you've enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one right now. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.